Welcome to Entrepreneurs International Network, where entrepreneurs learn, network, and grow. I'm Roger Killen, the organizer. Today, Karen McGregor is training us how, on how to design and deliver webinars that sell. Karen, I have got three questions for you. Number one, why do you do what you do in your business? So I do what I do because I want entrepreneurs to be able to have presentations that yield results because without them getting results, we don't change the world and there's no impact um, in society. So I'm very much impact driven and that's why I do what I do. Ah, lovely. Uh, question number two, what is the biggest realization you've had in business thus far? My biggest realization I will share in the webinar, but basically it comes down to the fact that everything we do in business, if it's going to be successful, is a system, is a structure, is some kind of a planned blueprint that we repeat over and over again. And once we do that, um, then our business really takes off. Okay, now your business is called Speaker Success Formula. If you had to launch your business all over again, uh, what would you do differently than what you did first time around? Well, de definitely joint ventures in terms of, you know, having other people host my talks because in the beginning, my idea was I would just host my own talks, but there are so many, many people that, love to have, um, you know, people like myself on their summits, uh, conferences, networking events, um, all those sorts of things. So I think it's important for all of us uh, not to be lone wolves. Uh, back, back in the day, we used to call them strategic partners or strategic allies, but the name has now changed. I think we're all <laughs> using, using the term JV or joint venture partner. Yes. Now, participants, uh, would you please, if you if you aren't shy, turn on your video because it gets awfully lonely for Karen to be <laughs> black, empty rectangles. So <laughs> turn on your video. Uh, I ask you. that you stay muted and uh, type your questions into the chat. Uh, I will batch them and pose them to Karen during her talk. About every 10 minutes, I'll interrupt Karen and see if it's OK to ask some questions. Now, you're going to be sent a link to the recording of Karen's uh, workshop in a few hours, but I nevertheless encourage you to take notes because the very act of taking notes will increase what you absorb by as 30%. Karen, are you ready to knock our socks off? I am. Thank you so much, everyone. And Thanks. take it away. The stage is yours. All right. Thanks for being here, everyone, and welcome to webinars that sell and why most don't. Tonight, you're going to learn all about how to actually have a presentation online that gets you the results that you want and need for your business. Um, before we go into it, I have a quick video that I want to show you just to share with you a little bit about my own experience and, and why I came to be where I am today so that you understand for the rest of the time uh, the context. So I'll just play that really quickly. Karen McGregor has supported thousands of entrepreneurs over the past decade, increasing their sales many times over through the power of high converting talks and webinars. Going through a divorce, having lawyers tell me, Karen, you have to go back and get a real job. The speaking and writing books business clearly isn't working. Just go back. And in my head, I, I knew that they were right. But in my heart, my soul's calling. I knew that there had to be a better way. She walks the talk every day, sharing her message on stage with luminaries like Deepak Chopra, John Gray, David Wolf, and none other than Tony Robbins. 20 years ago, when I first met Tony Robbins, saw him speak, I said to myself, I'm gonna share the stage with that man one day. That one day is today. Karen is the founder of Speaker Success Formula and the wildly popular Rock the Stage program for entrepreneurs who want direct results of sales and more clients through speaking and webinars. So I have a really soft spot in my heart for people who do have a great message. They do have a great program, product or service, but they're not able to make it. And so that's my mission. 
to help those people. I would absolutely 1000% recommend working with Karen. The investment has paid itself off over and over again and will for the rest of my business. My business became easier, things started to flow, and I didn't have to try or work so hard. And to me, that was worth its weight in gold. Once I took Rock the Stage, my very first event that I spoke at, I made almost $6,000 and that was just the first. Her TEDx talk is being seen by over 1 million people, making it one of the top 1% of TEDx talks viewed. Karen is the Wall Street Journal best-selling author of The Tao of Influence, ancient wisdom for modern leaders and entrepreneurs. Her ideas and direct quotes have been featured on hundreds of news and prominent media outlets. Please help me welcome Karen McGregor. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, thank you. And welcome again, if you just joined us. Um, one thing that all these people have in common, you might be wondering, is that they all, just like we're talking about today, um, have webinars and online uh, programs and, and online uh, presentations, as well as live pre-COVID, of course. Um, and they all are at a, you know, a level that we would aspire to be to today. And these are people that I've shared the stage with. And that's the one thing, you know, we don't have anything special, uh, particularly um, that's going for us other than the consistency of doing this. So if you're in for consistency, type in hell yes into the chat box, okay? Because without consistency, we're not gonna get the results that we want. So, oh, awesome. We got some hell yeses coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. So speaking in webinars is one of the highest returns on investment for your business. So let's look at why that is before we jump into the nitty gritty. Um, so first of all, your webinar is the same as your live talk. So if you've ever had a live presentation, it's basically the same thing and so when we are able to do that, once again, we can do both. So, there, so you're double dipping, you're able to have just one webinar that is seen and heard by hundreds, if not thousands of people all around the world. It's also a really low investment of time. So one of the things you have to realize is that once you complete your webinar and it, it sells well and it's working well, what you want to do is to deliver that to different audiences, right? And so you're not reinventing the wheel. You might tweak a few slides, add a few here, take away a few there, but ultimately you are um, having just that one talk that you can use again and again for years to come. Uh, these are my kids. This is in Italy. The I think it was the year before COVID hit, but we traveled all over the world together. Uh, and one of the reasons was because we had the time to, you know, uh, when you do webinars, you're, you have much more time because you're leveraging your time as opposed to one-to-one -to -one meetings. Now, another thing about webinars is that they don't require a big database. So write that down, right? If you have a small following or a small database, one of the things you want to remember is that your webinar doesn't always have to go to your list. It doesn't always have to be, you know, try fatiguing or pounding on your own list. It really is an opportunity to get in front of other people's audiences, other people's communities. And so that's why, you know, you can have no list at all and have really successful webinars. And uh, it just alluded to it earlier, from one to one to one to many, that's why we all want, want to do webinars that actually um, make a difference and sell and make that impact is because you can do a webinar in 60 minutes. And if you took all the people in the webinar, for instance, how many have we got here today? Oh, not 35. sure. 55. 55. 35. 35, yeah. If you had 35 coffee dates, type it in the chat box. How long would that take you to actually complete those 35 coffee dates? Any idea? Just a guess. <laughs> Lindsay says forever. <laughs> yeah, 
So take that, whatever that forever amount is, three months, two months, whatever it is, and, and imagine that you had the same opportunity with a webinar to get in front of all those people, except you're only doing it for an hour instead of two, three, six months. So, you know, it really is a no brainer when it comes to, to that. The other thing is a lot of people think they cannot sell on a webinar. So here's the thing, if you're a realtor or a counselor or a psychologist, something like that, um, financial advisor, yes, you can't sell directly, but you can sell indirectly. So there is one step in between your webinar and the actual sale that happens. Um, and so whether you can or you can't, it, it is still the most direct way to sell to your clients. Um, Roger, I am very grateful to Roger because he was the TEDx Stanley Park uh, organizer when I spoke. And um, thank you, Roger. I'm gonna recognize you. you did an outstanding job there. And uh, the reason that I bring up TEDx is because um, many people, when they think about webinars, they think, oh yeah, I wanna, you know, I wanna reach a lot of people. But what they don't realize is those people are all over the world. And now we can have access to clients globally, which is the same thing as TEDx, a global platform. So you want to think always, where can I put my efforts that is a global platform? Okay. So the other thing about why uh, webinars are such a high return on investment for all of us is that they have referrals, right? And so what I mean by referrals is two types. So you get referrals from the people that are listening to your webinar, but you also get referrals from the person who has invited you to come to speak to their community. And I always say your best referrals are not necessarily to individual clients. While that's nice, you want to get referrals to speak to other people's communities. Type it in the chat box if you agree with that, right? Other people's communities, because remember the word of the day is, we wanna leverage our time. Thank you, Lindsay, right? Very important. Now, in terms of numbers, what can you expect from your webinar? Well, if you know what you're doing in terms of you know, constructing the webinar, constructing the offer, having it um, work consistently, this is what you can expect in terms of results. So if you've got 30 people, as an example, on your webinar, and there is a $1,000 program product or service, you would have 10% of the audience say yes to your program product or service. This is an average, okay? It's an average. Now, if you have uh, what I call a warm host. They've taken your program. They speak highly of you. There might be guests in the webinar room that have um, taken your product and, and love using your product or your package of services, whatever you sell. Then that number can go up to 20%. And in fact, I've had many webinars that went up to 30%. And that is because you've got what I call a warm crowd, right? So so a cooler crowd, you're looking at 10%, warmer 20%. And if you have a $1,000 program product or service and you speak twice a month, so consistently twice a month, you're looking at a six-figure income just doing the webinars. Now, if you had a $500 program product or service and you said, Karen, you know, I only have a 500 Okay, well, how many of you type in the chat box would be okay with earning an extra $66,000 a year speaking twice a month on webinars that work? Type it in the chat box. <laughs> yes. Hell yes, Carolee, woohoo. <laughs> right? So just think about this, everybody, the consistency matters, right? That's what matters. So um, here's an example of someone who was under a myth about webinars and about presentations. Um, he had a very low priced offering, meaning it was, uh, I think it was $197. And um, 
that was like a little teaser or test or whatever. And, but he had this massively successful program that he was offering people. And so I said, why don't you offer that directly on the webinar instead of the little teaser? And he said, well, I don't think anybody would buy it. And I said, why? He said, well, I don't, I don't think things like that sell on webinars. And I said, well, are you willing to trust me and, and work with me on that? And uh, because I can tell you they do. And so here, here's what he said. Uh, listen very carefully, because I'm going to ask you a question about it. Karen McGregor, a huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for helping me get my mind right around the talk that I gave. I just spoke to 175 people, had amazing sales went through a presentation with Karen. I was like, Karen, help me at the last minute. She was awesome, totally showed up, gave me some great ideas. I sold two packages, one for 2,000, one for 4,000. I wanted to fill the class with 10 people, have it totally sold out. So that was fantastic. Okay, so just to repeat, he said he had 10 spots filled. One was for 2,000, one of the packages, one was for 4,000. So how many people do you think bought the $4,000 package as opposed to the $2,000 package? Remember, he filled 10 spots. How many of the 10 do you think were a $4,000 package purchased? Just, just take a guess, everybody. Type it in the chat box. Go ahead. Okay, so we got, we got numbers all over the place. Awesome. So the answer is eight. Eight. So eight of his $4,000 packages and only two $2,000 packages. So what that should tell us all, because he did a regular talk, you know, in 45 minutes, he had a talk and he sold eight were the higher priced item, is that your best clients, when you do a good job on your webinar and your offer, they buy on value first. Yes, they consider the price point, but it is not the first consideration. Would you agree? Your best clients buy on value first. So take, um, type it in the chat box if that's something that you've also experienced, right? <laughs> yes. <Karen McGregor. laughs> Lindsay, yes. Anybody else? Yeah, Pavna. <laughs> so how come more people aren't doing this then? If there is the consistency of results that you want and you're leveraging your time, um, why, right? So what I have discovered, I've been doing this for 10 years, everyone. Um, Roger knows me forever. And, uh, and what I've discovered is that it isn't so much that people are afraid of rejection or even that they're afraid of sales or speaking. The actual reason people don't do it is because they don't actually know if they're going to get results. And if they don't get the results they want, they're not going to do it. And so that's just human nature. So that's why I'm here to talk to you all, because when you understand that webinars um, that are consistent results, that have consistent results, have a system to them, which is what I call an invisible structure, right? So it doesn't make you sound like someone else, but it does give you um, um, it's almost like this invisible structure that allows you to have the success that you have over and over and over again. So that's really what we're gonna be talking about tonight is that invisible structure. Um, I think Roger knew me way back when, when I did this uh, talk, um, I think it was over 10 years, maybe 11 right now. Um, and, uh, and this talk was to my ideal clients at the time who were you know, really spiritual, um, intuitive, that kind of thing. And, um, and I had a big opportunity, I, you know, I was going through a divorce, it was a very hard time in my life, but I had a big opportunity to speak on a stage of 3000 people. And I thought, if I could nail this talk, my business <laughs> is going to take off. And that business was around helping people to be intuitive. So I had 3000 of the right people in the room, everybody, the right people. <laughs> right? Has anyone ever experienced that before? And at the, end of the, um, at the end of the talk, they came to my table. I had a table for the whole day, 3,000 people. And they all gave me a hug and, and said, what a great talk. But nobody bought my programs. And I had four amazing programs, but nobody bought them. 
And so at that time, I realized, my God, if I'm going to support my kids, and I'm going to have a lifestyle that I would prefer to have, rather than, you know, looking at the end of the month and not having any money, then I then I better do something different. And so that's when I decided for my kids and for myself to make um, a big shift. And so these are my kids. This is a places we've been able to visit, things we've been able to do. But for me, I'm, I'm not materialistic. What for me, it is all about freedom and experiences as an entrepreneur. You know, we, we, we don't know how much longer we're going to live, but I always say to live a good life, we need to have wonderful experiences. And so this, uh, you know, speaking and webinars has allowed me uh, to be able to do that. So I want to talk a little bit about um, if you are thinking about doing a webinar, but you don't have a business that you would consider to be, um, you know, something that would be easy to sell. Uh, those are actually a lot of the people, most of the people that I work with are, are people who have a business where they think it would, it's, a, it's a hard sell. It's not an easy sell. These people in the background here, for instance, they speak about love. And you'd think that topic would um, uh, equate to poverty or equate to not having a successful business. But both of them, uh, because they speak regularly, have huge following and a multi-million dollar business speaking about love. So, yeah. Taryn, are you up for a question? Real quick, yes. We, we got, we're, we're under a time, so I know you got the time going, Roger. Go ahead. Uh, question from Melody. What was it about your talk where no one bought that you realized you should have done differently? Pretty much everything I'm gonna be talking about today. <laughs> Yeah, I had no structure, no systems, no idea on how to put a package together in a way that people would say yes, all of those things. Thank you. That's a great question, Melody. So we'll get into it more actually coming up. No further questions. Back to you. Thank you. Um, and so, yeah, for instance, this lady, she's vegan. She uh, was teaching people to be plant-based and couldn't sell anything, but she was a great speaker. I know that some of you on the line are probably really good speakers, just really difficult to, to be able to sell. Um, and so I just want to let you all know the good news is it doesn't matter what you are selling or what you are doing, you can still get results from webinars, whether it's direct results or, like I said, some people have to have a, a middle step. Okay, let's talk about monetized webinars. So how you monetize a webinar. The first thing is a lot of people go to networking events and I'm sure that you being here uh, means that you're one of them, right? Um, and so when you go to a networking event, many people, um, you know, they, they have an opportunity to speak for a minute or two minutes. And that opportunity, in my opinion, is a great opportunity to invite people into your webinar because your webinar will really give them, if, if it's a fit for them and it solves their problem, it, it is a perfect opportunity for you to work further with the ones that want and choose to do so. Uh, monetized webinars are also used to fill events and workshops. Maybe some of you have events and workshops. Type it in the chat box if any of these apply to you. You want to fill an event or workshop. You want to launch and sell products or you want to sell them more than you have been. Um, maybe you're a coach and you want to lead people into a private session. Anybody uh, there? Yes, several applied to you, Lindsay. Awesome, yes. And yes. Karen, and Karen, I'm going to have to answer some questions before the chat disappears. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Uh, have you had experience with convincing doctors who do not want to part with their money to buy a package or program, asks Belinda. Okay, you know what, I'm going to ask you to, to follow up with me afterwards, because that's a really specific question, and we don't have a lot of time to get through, so I'm happy to answer that one-to-one, -one for sure. Question, yeah. question from Sean, what do you think of Abraham Hicks, Power of Attraction Publications? Yeah, good stuff. Question from Lindsay, 
what if you don't offer a program but have a physical service would you still get a similar return on investment absolutely yes yeah lots of my clients have physical services yeah for no, sure no further questions back to you thank you so much okay so i want to give you an opportunity right now to think about if you are one of those people that offers a strategy session you can move from that to a high ticket sale um, if you want but pay have people pay for your strategy session so that's another thing i'm going to give you an example of because a lot of people are giving things away for free and it's so rampant and so widespread it's wonderful if it's free sometimes right but um but it actually can work against you because so many people are doing it right now so i'm going to give you two examples um, of things you can do and um and i'll show you the examples through a couple of my clients so audrey was someone who just was had no idea how to do a webinar and and no technology in place and she thought, OK, can I be a nutritionist and actually sell my services on a webinar? And so if you have a service, listen carefully, right? So she went to her chiropractor, her, the one she'd been going to for years, and she said, you know, I have this webinar that I created with Karen's help. And, it, you know, it, it, I'd like to be able to offer it to your people. And he said, wow, that'd be a great fit for my people. So he sent it out to their database. They had 38 Zoom participants. They had 10 sales and seven referrals that led to an additional seven sales. So she had, get this, first time doing a webinar, no technology experience, 17 sales. Type it in the chat box if you think that's freaking awesome, right? <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome too. Uh, thank you, uh, Jason uh, and Katsumi and Melody. Yes. So here's um, an example of someone who went out and did something different as well. So Rose, uh, she said, you know what, I'm going to charge for my uh, my 90 minute private session. I'm not going to give away any more free sessions. She was tired of that. So she decided to do it in her webinar. She had 24 people in attendance. She had six sales uh, of her, her uh, 90 minute private session. And then from those six, two of them decided to take her $4,000 program. So she earned almost $10,000 from this webinar. Again, first time doing a webinar, had never had that experience before. So we know that, you know, these things work and, you know, hers again was a service, right? So take away gems. Um, I'm going to share with you mistakes that I see over and over again that are stopping people from having success with webinars. And um, to the earlier question, to the point of the earlier question, those mistakes are mistakes I made, <laughs> but I also see them over and over and over again. So how do you do the opposite? Let's take a look at that. Um, and my promise to you, of course, is I'll give you as much as I can in the time we have together, and I'll show you a way to take that further if you so choose. We're going to go from mistake number three down to mistake number one. So mistake number three when doing webinars is not understanding what your audience actually desires. Not necessarily what you think they want, but what is it that they really desire. And when you can tap into that, in your audience's language, that's going to be the foundational piece of a webinar. It's not everything, but it's very, very important. So I'll give you an example. Um, I was speaking here to, I think it was close to 100 women, and they were being served chocolate mousse, and they had heard many speakers before me. Nobody was paying attention. It was one of those god-awful moments when you step on stage and you think, this is trouble. <laughs> <laughs> who agrees with me when you get served chocolate mousse the speaker does not take the stage right the mousse takes the stage <laughs> so it was it was hard but i actually was the first speaker of that day that they paid attention to now why why right because i was speaking their language of where they were 
and where they want it to be. So write that down. That is huge. If you cannot do that throughout the oh. course of your webinar, yeah. it's never going to work out. Huh. Oh, we got somebody who's unmuted accidentally there. Can you help us there, Roger? Not anymore. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so let's continue because we've got lots left in very little time. So your audience, what does your audience want? Your audience wants three things, basically. So the first thing is they want to know why you, because there's many people that do what you do. Why you? So we're not going to go through all sorts of story structure tonight because that's something that I do teach, but we just don't have time for it. I do, however, want to tell you in your story that you share your core story in every webinar, right? That core story has to show the journey of where you are to where you, where you were to where you are, because that's the journey of the client. And so telling that well is an art. And again, something that I teach, however, it's only one piece of the webinar. It's not the whole webinar. So let's take a look at other pieces, your expertise. Now, you don't have to be um, the top expert in the world to sell your program products or services. All people are looking for right now is results. They're not looking for your biography, although it might be impressive they're looking for your results. I can't tell you how many people that came to work with me that had a very impressive biography, but they weren't making any money at all, right, in their presentations. So it's not about your biography. It is about your results. And can you get those results for your clients and be able to show them in a non-salesy way? So let's take a look at client stories. When you start to collect your client stories, the, there's different types of stories that are really important to share in a webinar, again, without the salesiness, right? So I'm going to give you examples of those stories right now. The first example is someone who is very different from you, because remember, every time you share a testimonial, your people are listening and, and about 20% of them are doubting that, you know, you can help them. And so if you share with them a variety of people, different backgrounds, different struggles that they had, um, different personalities, then you're going to have much more success because they can see themselves, right, in that person. Whereas they may say, oh, I have nothing in common with the speaker. I, I, I don't think I can pursue this. So that's very important. This lady here, completely different from me. Um, she was 100% what I call relationship based. So everything was about the relationship. And everybody loved her, but nobody bought from her. Can, you, can any of you relate to that or know somebody like that? Everybody loved her, but nobody bought from her. So this is very important. When you're a relationship person, you have to know how to do the opposite, which is systematic without, again, sounding like a bunch of other people, but it's important, right? Okay. Now, if you don't, yeah, if you don't have testimonials, Emma, you start collecting them, right? Because results, results, results. You need to show that you have results. If you're a brand new speaker and or a brand new entrepreneur and nobody's taken your program, product or service, get, get them enrolled in some small thing that you can help them with. It doesn't have to be big. Um, and you ask, keep asking. So let's continue. Jennifer Hansel, a lot of you might know her. She used to be the um, owner and, and she was the founder of Connect Now Business Network. Um, I'm sharing her story with you because this is another type of testimonial. Um, after she took uh, my training, she actually said, oh my God, I learned way more than I thought. And, and I've got a new uh, thousands of dollars of extra income, you know, newfound epiphanies. And so I want to ask you, have you ever had a testimonial that's, that would be considered that type of testimonial where someone said, you gave me way more than I ever expected? Anybody type in the chat box if that was you. Somebody said that. Gave, gave way more than I expected. Got way more results than I expected to. Has anyone ever told you that? 
Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. And if they haven't, there's probably someone out there that believes that. So go and ask them. Karen, let that testimonial. Let, let me ask you some questions in the chat before they disappear. Okay, real quick. Uh, all the uh, testimonials that you're citing, are these people, were these people already established in the market? No, no. There were some newbies, some mature, okay. Yeah, yeah. There's all, there's a huge range from right from very, very beginner to, to very experienced, yeah. Hey, Jason asks about the uh, live or pre-recorded webinars. Yeah, live, always live if you can. Okay, Natalie asks what speaker question mark. I don't know what the question is. Natalie, maybe you would type it again. Yeah, in the uh, meantime, I'm just going to continue and then I'll come back, okay? Uh, well, so there's this... questions. Uh, okay, I don't think we'll get through the presentation though. If... Anyway, okay, let's keep going. Emma asks, what if you don't have <laughs> testimonials? Oh, you've answered yeah, that? I've answered that. Faisal asks, a lot of personal brand building will be required to get an audience, especially if the speaker is managing a startup business has not yet scaled. That's a question, really. I don't see the question there, but maybe, maybe later. <laughs> yeah, I, I can come back okay. if, if there's a question there. Okay, and Natalie was, uh, Kate, back to you. Uh, awesome. Okay, so this is another type of testimonial that you want to have. I call it the doubtful to dynamite. It's where you explain that there is um, a doubtful, you know, uh, client of yours wasn't sure that they really were going to get, you know, the results that, that they wanted. As an example, Carmen, nutritional consultant, she said, oh my gosh, I've spent tens of thousands of dollars uh, trying to market my business, sell my $2,000, you know, nutrition assessment and program. And she said, nothing's working. Um, and I said, well, let's give it a, let's give it a shot, you know? And, uh, and so she was completely doubtful. And so 20% of your we uh, webinar participants can write this down. This is a fact. 20% are going to be doubtful you can help them. However, when they choose to work with you, and this because you have a strong webinar and offer, right? That's why they choose to work with you. If they don't know you, they're going to choose based on that. When they choose, they're going to be, they, you will be their um, go-to person for all referrals. They will start talking about you. They'll be raving about you. And those things happen when you get their attention and they get results, right? So very important. Okay, let's go to mistake number two, becoming the perfect presenter. So in a webinar, a lot of times what I see is that people won't actually deliver the webinar until they feel that they have everything uh, perfect. Now there's a difference between um, having the structure properly presented in a way that will sell and being perfect. So being perfect means that you're trying to say every single thing and memorize every single thing and be perfect and not make mistakes. That doesn't matter, everybody. You can totally make mistakes as long as you have a structure that works. And most people, that's what they're missing. So even if they pull off a perfect webinar, they have no connection with the audience, they have no results, and they're wondering, maybe I should just give up. And so, so that's the piece that I feel passionate to support people in because you don't need to be perfect. So if you don't need to be perfect, um, that means you won't procrastinate, right? If you know you're gonna get consistency of results, you're gonna, uh, your, your fear of selling will be less and you won't procrastinate so much. Type in the chat box if you've ever felt you've procrastinated on speaking or webinars, right? Maybe that's you. I know I did for quite a long time. And it's simply because we don't know if what we're actually going to deliver will work. And so that, that's really a tough place to be in. So I totally, thank you, Carolee, totally understand where, you know, where people are coming from here. Now, um, 
If you are the opposite end of the spectrum, so there's the perfectionist, we also have the people that are winging it. So here's the thing, everyone, I've, I've been training speakers for 10 years, okay? I know this really well. And what I know to be true is that some of the best speakers don't make any money. The reason for that is they're winging it. They are talented, they're usually charismatic, they come off as very articulate and confident, but because they never learn a structure that works for them, they're not actually monetizing their presentations. And this is, um, you know, this is, a, this is a big problem because they have a lot of pride, but they, but they won't take the step to make the difference that is necessary in order to have the results. So neither one of those works. What works is just coming to the middle, being humble and saying, you know what, I need a system. I need to learn this system and have that structure for both your talk and your offer. Okay, now speaking and selling from the heart is another topic that a lot of people say, well, can I really speak and sell from the heart? Is that possible? And I do believe for every single one of us, it's totally possible, but there's a few things that we need to do in order to speak and sell from the heart. So the first thing is, concentrate on designing and delivering only one powerful webinar or talk. Don't try to do many. Uh, one of my clients just said the other day that the biggest thing that, was, that made the shift for her was that she went from many talks to one talk, right? Because when you have one talk, you get better and better and better. When you have one talk that you know sells, you won't have as much hesitation in going through and booking your talks and in delivering your talks, you'll have more fun. So at, when you add value to people, it's because you've mastered something. And I think that Roger would agree with me that we both, one thing Roger and I both have in common is a respect for mastery. And so you cannot master if you're constantly shifting and changing something. All right, so create content that's deep and not wide. Uh, so very quickly, obviously we're in a time, unprecedented time where everybody's learning online, right? And so how do, how do you um, set yourself apart when, when there's so much online activity? Well, one of the things that I always say is create your content to be really deep rather than general. So what I mean by deep is specific, uh, insightful, and what it, it, what it must do at the same time as being specific and insightful is to help people to see you're the right person to support them or, or the product that you sell is the right product. This is where people go wrong in their webinar. Write this down, right? It isn't how much you share with someone. I could be on here for three hours with all of you, right? It's not how much you share. So never be stingy with your content. It's about how you position the content in a way that supports people to both say, this person is the expert I need. And also my time has not been wasted by being here, right? So they, they wanna feel that the time has been valuable and that they have someone now that can support them um, and, and change their life, transform their life. Quick question from Caitlin. I've yes. heard other coaches push, uh, push a live three-day challenge where you get on for a hour each day. What is the difference between a three-day challenge versus a single hour webinar? Uh, because a challenge uh, typically leads to a webinar. So when people do challenges, the thing that they're offering is a webinar. So it's just a lot more work and you're welcome to do it because of course, some people on social media really want to do that, but I'm not into doing a lot of work. So I, I try to <laughs> streamline things as much as possible, but uh, for sure, you can do that. Any other question? No further questions. Back to you. Okay, 
So now we're going to talk about creating an offer. So when you create an offer, first of all, a lot of people say, well, you know, my offer didn't work on stage. There's a reason for why it doesn't work on stage and it has nothing to do with your audience. <laughs> okay. Most of us complain that it's the audience, but 90% of the time, I'll give it to you, maybe 10%, but 90% of the time it is not that it is the way that you structure your offer so i use this metaphor of a gift basket so let me explain that a gift basket that is uh welcome in your house so imagine that you had one delivered and one that you were excited about would include everything that you like right and it would include everything that would make the experience of un of opening the gift basket whether it be with a partner or family or whatever, it makes it a special occasion and experience. This is what you want for your clients. That offer should be an experience where they can imagine unwrapping this beautiful gift and having their lives change forever. So now let's imagine the opposite. Let's say you were a, a coach <laughs> and uh, you know, you said something like, well, I've got this three month program, it's, you know, $2,500. And, um, you know, today only, you know, we're, we're going to take a couple hundred dollars off. And uh, here's a few benefits of, of my coaching. Um, come and see me at the back of the room if you're interested. And, and, and this is what most people do. They actually think that that's a gift basket offer when in fact, it would be equivalent to here's your rice crackers, right? Here's your rice crackers. And this is what most of us do expecting to get a sale. And so the experience of the offer is what we're after. And I, of course, I teach that, right? That's a big, big part, but it is not the only part. You need to have a solid talk combined with your offer. They, they, they are equally weighted in terms of having people decide that they want to work with you or buy your product or your service. Now, this lady, she um, came to me. She was really uncomfortable with selling, you know, still to this day doesn't like selling. Um, but we worked on her offer and she had a thousand dollar offer which she sold to a small group of people and 10 people ended up buying her offer over the course of a couple webinars. Then those people came to her intuitive event. And at the end of the event, she sold a $10,000 program, which four people bought, hence the 40,000 that you see on the screen. So she very quickly went from, I hate sales to, hey, this is really amazing. And, and she's changing people's lives because of it. All right, so we're on to mistake number one, planning to educate without a plan to sell. This is very, very common, as you all know. Uh, how many of you have ever tried to educate, passionate about teaching, but you know, didn't put a lot of effort or thought to the sales part? <laughs> I know I've been there, <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you for typing in the chat box. Um, plan to define one clear problem. So listen, everyone, if you're, you're, you know, you're, you're working on your offer, just ask yourself, you know, are you really working with one clear problem? Is, it, is, is there some clarity there for your audience? Uh, the other thing is, as you work through your talk, do people have clarity on where you're headed? You're the captain of the ship. Uh, as the captain, everyone should know where the destination point is, but quite often in a webinar, people get lost. Now, this is my son, Matthew McGregor. I just wanna share with you his quick story. And that is that he came to me and asked me, mom, I have a really big meeting with an international, globally renowned um, internet guru to take a look at his company, 22 Apps. And he said, I really need you to work with me on my webinar. So we made it as good as, I mean, it was already good. We made it as, as good as it possibly could be. He presented it to the fellow and he, the fellow invested 350,000 US 
into Matthew's company. Matthew was 22 at the time. He's now 23. And the company is now valued at $4 million. So um, the whole um, structure of his company is selling through webinars. And, and he sells apps for entrepreneurs. It's called 22 Apps. So just wanted to let you know that I know for sure that we all have big opportunities to be able to get out there, sell our programs, products, and services, and meet influential people because we have a strong webinar. Okay, so last thing, plan to find the right mentor. If it's me or someone else, I think it's a really important idea to be able to get this handled and have a structure and an offer that gets you the consistency of the results time and time again. And that's why I created 10 years ago, Rock the Stage, which is a complete speaking and webinar training that's designed for entrepreneurs and professionals who actually want results now. And before we get into that, um, just wanna check in with, um, with our uh, lovely host to see, is this the part where we turn the recording off or shall we record the whole thing? What are we doing there? We record the whole thing. Okay, awesome, let's continue then. So let's take a look. If you're already a great speaker, um, what I want you to do is ask yourself, am I getting the results when I speak? Because, because we can all be great speakers, but quite often we don't get the results. And so that's what I'm really all about is to support you in getting the results that you want and need from your webinars and from your talks. This is Udo Erasmus, he, he's been around forever and he had 5,000 talks under his belt when he came to rock the stage. So just so you know, he was so impressed because he needed a, a structure that would support him with his new projects. Now, um, is speaking draining or driving your business? That's all that we really need to ask ourselves when it comes to wanting to get this problem handled, right? and to be able to do well consistently with our presentations. And that's why I created Rock the Stage live event online. Uh, so everyone all over the world can participate. And there are three aspects to Rock the Stage. So you can write these down. The first is we look at the design of your talk and actually do it together in a small group uh, arena. So the four things you're going to do with me is to complete the webinar, right? And in terms of all the different aspects, lining it all up in the right order and getting my feedback on that. Um, we also do offer creation and packaging because a lot of people can improve their offers, but they don't actually see how to improve it. And that's something that I help them with as well. And because we're a small group, we can get that done. Um, six figure selling from the digital stage. This is something that I'm passionate about. Most people are not charging enough, but they don't have the proper package to be able to deliver something that reflects the value that they offer. And so I really um, highly recommend going and understanding that high ticket sales strategy as well. So this is Christina Samet, just a quick uh, example. Her first three talks after Rock the Stage, she netted $36,000 in income. And then those people who bought that came to a retreat she had, and she was able to earn an additional $75,000 by offering them a year-long program. So everything I taught her allowed her to have a six-figure income, whereas previously she was having trouble with her rent, like she couldn't pay her rent. So we know these things work when you work with them. Now, the second component, so the first is you're gonna learn how to design the talk for consistency of results for years to come. The second is you're gonna learn how to deliver the talk. So deliver with confidence and ease. Because I'm intuitive, I work both with the last 10 years of what I've learned about working with people who are presenting, but, we're, but I also work intuitively to see where are your blocks, where can you break through to be the best speaker you can be. 
Um, this is somebody who uh, never was listened to. She never felt she had a voice on stage and she never felt listened to or heard specifically. And so she worked through that with me and there were some blocks that we were able to clear so that she could get to where she wanted to go. Now the third component, so I'll just repeat the first two, designing the talk, delivering the talk. The third component is how do you get your speaking gigs out into the world? So accessing the blueprint for booking your webinars is really important. So I, I teach you all the steps to be able to book your webinar and learn what you need to do to get a lot of speaking gigs or webinar gigs. Also, if you ever thought about doing it yourself, inviting people to your own webinar, I also teach you that because we don't want your webinar room to look like this, do we? <laughs> right? Not comfortable, not fun. <laughs> Uh, these two ladies, uh, first, first time they'd ever invited people to their webinar, Nikki had 60 people and uh, Kat had 24. Uh, they both had several thousands of dollars in sales and they were very, very happy that they chose to follow the structure that I taught them. Um, now there's three ways to access Rock the Stage. So let's just talk about all of them very quickly. The first is if you want to work privately with me, that's a conversation we'll have separate from today, uh, and that's 25,000. If you want to take the Rock the Stage three-day live online event, it's 1997. Now, the time it takes those three days is, is the time that you will then have invested in your business over and over again. You'll reap the results for years to come. So always say three days for years to come is a really strong use of your investment, right? When you think about that over and over and over again, all of the times that you have webinars. Uh, we have a small group philosophy because I believe I used to be a teacher in my 20s and I'll never forget that if people don't do it there, they're not going to do it and they sometimes don't do it well. So we want you to succeed. We want you to be able to have that experience of building your talk. So the Rock the Stage online training is 1997. If you choose to just do the recordings, um, it gives you the same, you know, the exact same results as our live online training. So if you want to, you're welcome to do that as well. Uh, Daniel Dayette just took the recordings and did all the work. And he had 17 people who uh, bought his workshop at a conference and seven up sold into his higher ticket. Um, sales. So he was very happy. Our today only invitation, however, is when you invest in the Rock the Stage online training program, you will receive the Rock the Stage live three day online event as part of the package. So you get both all the recordings, all the homework that goes with that, as well as the live event with me. Now, if you're just getting started, this is the best place for you to be, obviously. Uh, and if you're you know, someone who's really seasoned and maybe webinars isn't your thing or you haven't figured it out, this is also a very good place to be. Um, Kimberly Lepard, she came to rock the stage. She had no idea how to create you know, a talk that sells. And she had 30% of her audience buying her retreat every time she delivered her talk. Um, and so we know it works when you work with it. Um, eSpeaker Mastery is something that I'm going to gift you with today with the investment in the Rock the Stage program. It, is, uh, it allows you to understand basic 101 questions like what's my topic, you know, how do I um, deliver my content and how do I choose my content, things like that. So it's very uh, in-depth and helps you with those, with those basic you know, starting questions. If you don't have a lot of product services or programs, um, then don't, don't worry because one of the things is um, that you can create things that your audience wants. A lot of people don't know how to do that though. And that's why I've added this as a gift and it's called the product success formula. So I actually train you how to develop products or packages 
that actually work for your client and are saleable, right? So it's very important. It teaches you to go from clarity to implementation, to research, marketing, sales, everything. It's an entire course that you're being given today with the Rock the Stage online home learning program. And if you're wondering about marketing, because nobody asked that question yet, or maybe they did, but we haven't gotten to it yet. Um, marketing is very, very important part of doing webinars and more so now than ever, right? So what I've done for you is I've given you my specific scripts, the scripts that I've used to create millions of dollars of income over the past 10 years, right? And so I'm giving you everything, all the templates, all the scripts uh, to emails, landing pages, videos, social posts, you're gonna get it all. And uh, that is uh, a gift for you today with the investment in the Rock the Stage program. So if tech makes you nervous, no worries, everyone. We're gonna go through that as part of the training. It's very simple, but it is important to know what you're doing. So I'll, I'll be talking about that. And one of my favorite gifts to give you all today is you get a guest ticket to the live Rock the Stage event. So you can bring a partner, a friend, a, a client, if you wish. Um, anyone that you think would really be supported by having this problem handled really about being able to get the consistency of results from your presentations. So all of this together um, is my gift to you. When you invest in the Rock the Stage online home learning program, you get two tickets to the live event, eSpeaker Mastery, get, get those 101 problems handled, product success to help you build products and your marketing mastery templates and emails and what and whatnot. So the investment is 1997 USD and today only you're going to receive $400 discount there and that is 1597 USD. It's 100% risk free guarantee that means that if you use all of my steps and show me that you've used them, you, you show me a video, and you will work with me privately till you get the results or your money back. And that's guaranteed for up to a year. This lady, it was a no brainer for her to take Rock the Stage. Uh, within 10 days of taking Rock the Stage, she had a couple webinars lined up and she had $22,000 in sales. So more than 10 times the investment um, in Rock the Stage, right? So uh, amazing. Fast action gift today in the next 30 minutes when you text me, uh, you can text me at 604-833-3073. I'll get Roger to write that number down in the chat box. 604-833-3073. You might have to add the one if you're not local to Vancouver. I think many of you are not. Aaron, please repeat um, yep. slowly, 604-833-3073. So when you text me, I will have a personal conversation with you uh, about Rock the Stage and, uh, and any, any other you know, elements to do with that. Um, when you text me, you will also receive as part of the Rock the Stage package, this gift, which is our sales on stage success system. What it is, is it helps you to actually get results when you're not allowed to sell. Because sometimes 20% of the time, you won't be allowed to sell directly on stage. Okay, so it gives you the formula for five, 10, 30, 60 minute talks, the types of gifts that are best, how to complete the sale and whatnot. Okay, so options. We have um, several options for dates. We have several options for payment plans. You can certainly text me to find those out, the dates and payment plans. However, if you would like to um, you know, uh, pay in full, then the, um, the bonus is my four-part live TEDx training. It's called TEDx Rocks. And it's once a week for four weeks. It's a $1,000 program. And you are going to receive that as a very special gift today only when you purchase in full, pay in full. And uh, that TEDx training allows you to understand 
how to market your talk, how to create your talk, how to deliver it, and actually how to get success with applying to um, get into a TEDx talk. Aaron, you're being asked for your email address. Do you? Do I have your permission to give it? Uh, you can, although I, I have to tell you, I, I prefer text. But if if for any reason you have to email, then then that's fine. I can look at it. But the text comes up right away. So okay. I'm using your Gmail uh, email. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Okay, uh, please don't spam me though. <laughs> That's only for the purpose of this, right? <laughs> Agreed everybody, right? Okay, so to register, rockthestagenow.com. That is the URL, rockthestagenow.com. And that is how you register. However, if you wanna talk to me personally, I'm gonna be here for the rest of the evening. When you text me within the next 30 minutes, you will also receive, like I said, that fast action bonus. Now, if you are not live right now, if you are not live, but once you watch this, you can also text me, okay? So if you're not live, you can also text me. I'm gonna give our live people something very special just for being live that nobody else will get. Um, including the people who had to hop off early, unfortunately. If you are still here, uh, what I'm going to do is give you uh, 15 minutes of my private time. I charge $1,000 per hour. So that's a $250 gift uh, for those people who register today and or text me to register in the next 30 minutes, okay? So you will receive, and I don't give this away, only with, Ro with Roger's people tonight, a 15 minute private laser session with me. Okay, so go ahead and, uh, and text 604-833-3073, or you can go directly to the link. It's called rockthestagenow.com. And I'll just put that into the chat box. Rock the stage now.com. There we go. So just copy and paste that. I know it's not a live link because I didn't put the other, <laughs> but yes. All right. And thank you so much, Roger, for the time today. Um, and uh, thank you all for, for really being active participants. I'm sorry I couldn't read everything in the chat while I was presenting. Um, but if there uh, if there's anything else, Roger, I, I'd love to um, to be able there's, to answer it. There's one last question. It's yes. from Emma. What is the better way to make your offer more of the gift basket way? That's something I teach in Rock the Stage. It actually takes uh, quite a few hours to teach it. Yeah. So I wouldn't be able to answer that in a short way, but Let's see if I can try answering it in 30 seconds or less. For, for me, the big thing is to understand that your clients, um, you know, uh, what they want and what they're concerned about is reflected, both of those things, both what they want and what they're concerned about is reflected in the way that you package your offer. That's the very, very, very short answer. Great. Karen, you're a true pro. We've, uh, you got a huge content covered and answered all the questions and we were only over by two minutes. Wow. Yay. So EIN, 80,000 members, thank you for being uh, punctual, complete and giving of your decades of experience in this area. I don't think uh, anyone could complain about the ROI they have received for their time invested uh, with you. So uh, on behalf of EIN, I thank you hugely.